Hello and welcome in Teach Max videos. Let us design a rectangular water tank now. Okay, so already in previous lecture we designed a circular water tank which is resting on the ground. Okay, for the two cases, one is the base we provide flexible and second is the rigid base, right? So circular water tank we design for flexible base as well as rigid base. So understand there the actions which are developed so as we know the circular water tank uh, subject uh, if it is uh, flexible base provided at the end okay so only hoop tension is acting on the walls so here the very important that the wall is subjected to uh, the water tank wall is subjected to hoop tension okay so for hoop tension we design a reinforcement we provide horizontally right and distribution reinforcement okay so that we know how much we can provide 0.3 percent right so that we provide vertically okay so that is design of circular water tank with flexible base circular water tank with rigid base there we consider that the uh, there are two main actions which are developed okay so below the below the uh, h by 3 or 1 meter whichever is greater uh, for that particular depth we know because of the rigid support at the joint fixed support at the joint the cantilever action is developed right so we find out the bending movement and we design the reinforcement that we provide vertically right and above which above that h by 3 or 1 meter whichever is greater th at that level we find out the hoop tension and we design the reinforcement for hoop tension right so uh, that we provide horizontally throughout the depth okay so like this way we design a circular water tank with rigid base also same design movement and the design hoop tension we can calculate by using is coefficient method also okay so that example also i have covered in previous lecture okay now we are going to focus exactly on design of rectangular water tank okay so again this rec this water tank we are going to design which is resting on the ground keep in mind okay so here very important that the again the actions the forces design forces which are acting over the water tank okay because we know that the this water tank is rest on the ground okay so slab base base slab is uh, not subjected to any forces because we assume it is supported on the ground okay so we directly assume the design okay we consider the design because we know uh, <coughs> there is no any forces we assume acting over the slab base now we are going to focus mainly again the vertical walls okay of rectangular water tank which is subjected to forces okay so what are the forces which are developed over this rectangular wall let us see this okay so we know rectangular water tank is definitely like this way this is a plan i am drawing okay this is center line Okay, so this is rectangular water tank whose length is capital L, whose width you can denote it by center to center distance between two walls as a length and width. Okay, so and we know the height if you draw this water tank, its elevation it will look like this way. Open uh, top is free. Okay, so it is not no any slab is provided over the top okay so keep in mind so this is it let us assume this fine so this is the level of water we can assume fine so these are the walls fine okay now understand the height okay so this is h that we are considering okay overall height of the water tank so l b and h now very important the forces which are acting over it okay now see there are two we can divide these uh, these water tanks rectangular water tanks into two parts based on the l by b ratio l by b ratio so what what are they the first one is if l by okay first one we can consider 
if l by b ratio is less than 2 okay and second one maybe this is the case maybe l by b ratio it may greater than or equal to 2 okay so these are the two possibilities which may occur in the case of rectangular water tanks okay so size see again same way we are assuming the size of the water tank okay height maybe we know okay how much we can provide right length and width we can easily decide based on the yes we, we equate the storage capacity of the water tank that for which we are going to design it equate to volume okay l b into h so in which h you can uh, assume as well as b you can assume you can find out length so like this way so generally uh, <coughs> we select the size of the water tank okay so th